It's an injury that leads to retirement. After an injury like that, it takes some time to regain the strength to push the ball down the field. All right, fellas, listen up, listen up. We talked about this all week. We learned in the film room. Excited? The fact that I know we can get better. You guys have so much room to improve still. With a playoff game in just a few days, everyone was waiting to find out if I'd be returning this week or if I'd hold off and hope for a win so I could possibly return in a later round. It was without a doubt one of the toughest decisions in my career. As much as it pained me to sit out that week's game, I knew it would pain me even worse if I played and caused the guys the game.
I had no idea how the team would respond on or off the field to my return after sitting the previous game. But deep down, I knew it was what I needed to do. Returning from an injury like this wasn't gonna be easy. And in this situation, we needed to make the smartest possible decision so I could be effective all game long. Tonight, field in Landover, Maryland. It's the NFC Championship game. For the chance to head to Arizona in two weeks' time for Super Bowl 57, we are underway now in the NFC Championship. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. The ball carrier. Second and six, just inside the 30. Four yards on the pickup. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And oh, right away, he lost the football. And it's Washington that scoops it up. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. Recovered by Washington. The first carry now. This is Alvin Kamara. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards. And it's second and two. He's brought down at the 15-yard line. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two. Back to throw. Santos. That one is slant to McLaurin. And all the way down inside the five to the four. A solid pickup of 12 yards. Now they're not. So head back out there already in excellent field position thanks to the interception. A little jet sweep to start to drive. Continuing to fight for more. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. He was brought down on the tackle. That was Dane Crookshank. Five brings up second and five. That's the end. Of Back the now at FedEx Field. Washington 24. It's Washington with the football and the lead as we start the fourth. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. I think he's taking an awful chance with the football right there. You've got a lead, you've got to protect it, and he's taking chances, putting it out there in a little bit of jeopardy. Especially in a spot like this, fourth quarter, as you said, trying to cling to that advantage. Yeah, that one probably should have been picked, huh? Santos's pass. And that one goes incomplete on the drop. Incomplete. That's one he definitely normally catches. Fourth down. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. Now.
Now following the interception, this offense will get another shot at it as they'll quickly head back onto the field. And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. They'll roll him out right. He'll try and run it. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. They give him 10 that time as he was able to get away from the pressure and get a nice game. Third and inches, and they've got some extra beef up front. Three tight ends. And he finds McLaurin. The 30, the 20. Touchdown, Washington. Terry McLaurin sending his best for the playoffs with his third touchdown of the game. And Washington. Both offenses have been clicking in this one. A lot of points on the board. We'll see if that trend continues. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. That's just bowling over tacklers. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. They'll wind up losing four yards on the play. And it'll bring up a second and 14. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Washington with the football here as we welcome you back. And you have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Call it a gain of six on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. A big one there on third down. They hit for 30 yards. The dynamic duo is doing damage in this one, and they've certainly been on point throughout. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace it. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Now it looks like he'll throw here. His pass caught at the four. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Off play action. Santos. And this is taken in for a Washington touchdown. Terry McLaurin there to make the grab. And Washington. So now we're in the final minute of the game in the fourth quarter as this offense gets ready to take over. Throwing on first down, Santos. The Notre Dame man, Jalen Smith, able to get a hand in and knock it away. That's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. Slings this deep from McLaurin. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go in the game. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Try to pound it in, Kamara. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. He can't bring him down. The weight room does work. 
And this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. They'll look to throw on third and goal. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. They wind up with six on the hook up there, but it's not enough. Fourth and goal. And they're going to go for this thing. They're not going to leave anything to chance. They're going to... So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so click on that thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content, and if you have any thoughts or feelings about the most recent YouTube video you just saw, share a comment right below the description so I can share some thoughts and feelings with others in the community and make them feel welcome. So. I'm AK Happy Corner 957. Y'all have a great day and peace out.